today's video, I will show you how to add rows in a table. I will show how to do it using interface of the data grip ID and also using query console. If you want to add rows using terminal, first you need to connect to your database. I showed how to do it in the previous video. And then you need to run the same SQL query as we will run in the query console. So, let's go. Let's open the table contacts and try to add a new rows. Let's talk a little about syntax. In SQL commands, you can freely use spaces, tabs, new lines. So you can align commands as you want. SQL is case insensitive about keywords and in identifiers, except when identifiers are double quoted to preserve the case. Constants that are not simple numeric values usually must be surrounded by single quotes. Let's back to the SQL command. This syntax forces you to remember the column's order, but also exists an alternative syntax. It allows you to list the columns explicitly. Let's try it. So, you can see in this case that you can change order of the columns. And if value of some column is empty, you can skip the column name and the column value. And one more thing that I want to explain is using default as the value the ID column. Here it. We need to use it because the value of this column is generated automatically. Also, you can add to the table a lot of rows from the file. For this, you'll use copy command. But this is topic for the separate video. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next time.